about this video here. This is a little road trip that I took to uh, outside of Cooperstown, New York to pick up a um, an enclosed trailer for a guy. Now, um, I've put up a couple of videos and usually um, I'll shoot the video on the back window with a goose deck on it. But because this is an enclosed trailer, you really wouldn't be able to see much of anything out the back window. So I tried putting it out the side window. It's the rear side window of my truck. And you're probably going to get a little more drone or exhaust noise because the window is actually open. Uh, it had been, to this day that it, this was filmed, was uh, it was like about 40, 42 degrees out. and. Uh, kind of been the first nice day um, where it got up to in the 40s, lower 40s, so I had that back window open. But basically, uh, again, this is outside of Cooperstown, New York. It's um, probably about 15 miles southeast of Cooperstown. Um, I had gotten a new uh, GPS and used that to get to this place. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have found this. Uh, I had had issues with uh, my phone GPS and a trip down to West Virginia where I lost uh, phone service and the GPS didn't work. So I had gotten a uh, GPS unit. A, uh, it's a Garmin diesel GPS unit can be used for cars or trucks. Very handy in the truck mode for when I'm pulling the trailer and uh, you get into the spaces where uh, it could be hard to navigate with a very long vehicle. So um, I kind of posted this video in uh, the this scenes are where I put the camera in. It's about a mile away from his house after I had picked the trailer up. Um, I, I kind of shot this at these scenes and showing these scenes because it's kind of cool countryside and uh, some nice old farmhouses along through here. You'll recognize every once in a while. Um, like that one right there. You can tell it's very old farmhouse from the style of the house. Now it's probably been renovated and updated, but I'm going to say that that house that we just passed was probably built in the mid 1800s. But some cool scenery. Um, I'll uh, voice over some highlighted parts. Um, I've cut a lot of this video out. I kind of put the camera in there and let it run until it ran out, so I'm only going to show you probably the first uh, 20 or so minutes of the, of the tape. There's a lot more of it. Um, most of the last part of the tape is um, on the throughway, uh, headed back towards the Buffalo area. But anyways, I, I kind of thought that you would enjoy the countryside, maybe some old architecture, and uh, when we get into Cooperstown, you're, I don't go past the Baseball Hall of Fame, but um, there's a lot of cool old, uh, houses and stuff in Cooperstown that you'll be able to see, so I'll uh, come back in whenever I think uh, is I want to point something out or think something is worthy of discussion.
eight different little side roads or county roads that I took to get to this guy's house. And, um, and unless you had an old style road map um, that you can follow, you can't really follow roads very good when the new atlases that they put out think small back roads are really indicated on those things so um, unless you have an old style fold out road map I would have been totally screwed in finding this place it was uh, I can't believe that uh, Garmin was able to get me there but I'll bring you back uh, and other things was like 
like that I bought it for her, he bought it for him, and um, I, I really didn't want to talk to him because I didn't want the trooper seeing me on the telephone while I was behind me, and I was uh, pulling this trailer, my truck is kind of loud, I was getting impatient with this guy going real slow, um, and it turned out, in the hindsight, when we split up, he actually had a prisoner in the back of a uh, back seat of the trooper car so he probably would have never pulled me over and given me a ticket for anything but it was kind of funny I, I probably should have ended up passing him to begin with
sections will get snapped up by the Amish too. They use them in their sawmills. Uh, the Amish around here are very big into uh, selling or having sawmills and selling wood. Uh, you can buy hardwoods. Uh, of course, they're not kiln dried or and are rough cut.